Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In my previous video, I show you how to convert an Android tablet into Android Auto wirelessly with your phone. So uh, some of you put it in comments, uh, why not use a tablet uh, uh, with a 5G or connect it to hotspot with your phone directly so you don't need to have this kind of like uh, complicated process where you have to use a head unit reloaded app and then connect it and sometimes it's not gonna work. So yeah, you could do that actually. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert uh, Android tablet right here uh, into a head unit display and uh, without having uh, your phone connected. So you won't be able to make phone calls with a SIM, but you can also call uh, with messenger or something like that. Uh, so it's gonna work almost the same. So let me show you. Uh, so in my previous video, I show you the uh, mount right here. So you could use a mount, any mount you want uh, on Amazon. I'm going to leave the, the mount link in the video description below if you want to buy it. And so right here, this is the Apple CarPlay right here. You can have Android Auto as well. But uh, if you ever uh, need to actually have a head unit display, if your car doesn't have one, so you can convert yours into one. So I'm using a Fire HD 10 right here. You can get a used one for like $60. Uh, you can get a Fire HD 8, Fire 7 for less than that. So $40, $50, that's uh, feasible. And uh, so what we're going to do is you want to go to install right here, to the App Store, or uh, if yours doesn't have App Store, for you have a Play Store right here. You go to the Play Store and you want to go and install AutoZed. So if you go to the Play Store right here, you want to go, so either AutoZen or Automate, it's fine, but uh, I find that the best one that I like, that, that is closest to the Android Auto, is AutoZen right here. So this one right here, AutoZen, uh, you want to install this, and it's going to be uh, uh, free, but uh, there's premium feature on this. So let me sh launch this and show you. So AutoZen is on here, and as you can see, uh, this is the settings. I'm going to go back because I went to the settings and it looks like this. So uh, the map is not Google map. It use a uh, map box right here, as you can see, there's uh, so map box, it's open street map. So you can use Google map as well by going to settings and then, you know, select Google maps if you have it installed and right here. So you can search in direction and you can also, so it looks like uh, Android auto on the bottom right here. You have Apple Music, you have uh, phone calls. So usually this is supposed to be, um, you know, uh, for phones actually, because uh, this, if you install on your phones, uh, no Android phone, you're gonna be able to make phone calls as well right here. Uh, so phone calls, you can make phone calls right here. But since this one doesn't have a SIM, you're not gonna be able to do that because uh, on the tablet, uh, so. You're going to have contacts and so on. So there's no contact. If you have contact, it's going to show you. So you go to here, the three dots. I show you, you know, uh, some apps on here. And you have settings. And you can edit, rearrange this. Uh, if you go to settings, that's the most uh, cool, cool part about this is that there's so many uh, settings that you can do. Uh, maps and navigations right here. You can enable speed limit right here. And you can choose, you know, enable only like in navigation or disable or enable. And you can also display speedometer, DD search history. And for premium, you can display speed cameras. So in Europe, they have speed cameras. Uh, and you can also play sound if you go back. So you can actually set, set the home street address and the work street address for easier and faster, uh, you know, when you want to go home, when you want to go to work in the morning and then uh, so this general right here. So general, you can customize launcher apps. So choose which app to show and so on. So you can customize either it's miles per hour or kilometer per hour right here. Or temperature is, so it's going to display the weather as well. So Celsius or Fahrenheit. And those it, there's so many things. And premium version is... Uh, Right now, you can get like the premium version for only $14.99. Uh, if 
you actually uh, pay now. Uh, I think uh, it's going to charge by month after that. So there's a bunch of uh, customization right here. You can do, you can uh, use your uh, gesture by hand to do certain things. Uh, so there's pretty cool stuff on here. So messages, you go to messages, enable incoming notifications, play notifications, preview incoming messages. You can enable and disable all of these. So enable messaging apps so you can have, you know, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, SMS, Slack, Signal. So this is amazing, right? You don't have to be stuck on the, you know, SMS only. So you're going to have uh, Facebook Messenger and so on. It's going to show in this right here, uh, in the AutoZen app, enable smart reply, auto reply. So automatic reply on incoming messages. Reply, I'm, I'm, I'm driving now. So let's go back. Are you going to have voice right here? Uh, so you can use Google Assistant as uh, instead of photos and built in voice command to, you know, call people or do certain things, get directions and so on. You have media, you can play music on start. So that's a premium feature. You can stop music on exit and you can enable this and, and I have startup right here, startup. So the cool thing about startup is uh, when you have auto Zen, you can actually enable Bluetooth auto launch. That means once uh, the tablet or your phone is connected uh, to your car or something like that, it's going to uh, automatically launch, you know, auto Zen. So you don't need to uh, go and launch manually and Bluetooth device right here will automatically open the app when connected. So you can select which Bluetooth device uh, this app will open when it's connected to that device, for example, you know, uh, earphone or something like that. Uh, but usually it's in the car, right? Because you kind of start driving. Bluetooth with auto close, close automatically when the app, uh, the app when disconnected from selected device. So that's a premium feature as well. Do not disturb and set media volume. So we're going to go back. You can choose the theme at appearances, uh, right here. Themes you can do a dark light, dark theme from sunset to sunrise. You can enable full, full screen navigation bar and status. Um, uh, so. A lot of things right here you can customize and premium feature I'm going to show you. So premium feature is uh, actually by month. Uh, as you can see, it's six ninety nine dollars uh, bill every year. So it's yearly subscription, this one. Six month subscription is $449, $399 for um, this one is yearly without in-app navigation. And you can have a lifetime for $14.99 bill once. So uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you want to buy this app uh, and also tutorials and so on. So a lot of customization and it's pretty nice. So I'm going to show you calendar right here. There's nothing here. I'm uh, going to do weather. So that looks pretty nice. Right? It looks pretty cool. Uh, you have weather on here. Like that. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of cool to have a screen like this, but usually mainly you're going to use it probably for your driving. Uh, you can, you know, set, uh, you know, can have contacts right here while driving. Uh, categories, you can have uh, gas stations, parking, restaurant, shopping, coffee shops, airports, ADM banks. So just the same as Google Maps. And I would prefer using Google Maps, but uh, you would need to, you know, connect using your phone in order to have Android Auto on this. Otherwise, this is an uh, alternative uh, to get, you know, uh, in-app, like kind of Android Auto-like. So let's say food, that's it. Let's, let me search food. Okay, so there's a lot of food right here. Uh, you can select one. This is, and it's going to start navigation pretty soon like this. Oh, so it's launching Google Map because uh, I told it to launch Google Map uh, as external app instead of the app inside right there. Show you like this. So if you go back, if you go back, you can al also launch uh, the app built in in there. So if you prefer Google Map, you can launch that. But if you prefer the Maps Insight without going outside, you go 
the app settings right here. And then you go to Maps Navigation. And then at the bottom right here, you're going to have, let's see, uh, select map right here, select navigation map. So you can have external navigation map, just tap on that and just, you know, check this. If you want external navigation map, uh, that's a third, third party navigation map, right? That's the one I, I chose and it's, it was launching this. So let's see, let me launch this and let's start navigation right now. So it's going to launch uh, right here, Google Maps. So let's say, okay. All right, so it just launched uh, Google Maps within, you know, this, the, ta the tablet, and it's pretty cool, right? So you can have Google Map launch in here, and it gave me directions. Uh, you can, like, rotate this. Oh, uh, you can recenter. You can rotate this or not? Not sure. So you can tap on this. You can... Call, you you have like Google Maps right here in a bigger screen, so it's kind of nice. You can show traffic on maps, like our traffic. You can uh, show satellite maps right here. And you can have, you see Google Maps, so it's pretty powerful. You have everything on here. You can share trip progress, add report, search along route, and so on. Uh, so directions right here and here you go so uh, it's gonna show you the speedometer right here as well it's kind of nice you can rotate this as well you can zoom in and out switch back like that pretty cool right where you can rotate this map cool so nice. So here you go. So you have, uh, you know, Canada Android Auto as well on here. So it's pretty cool to have this. So if we switch back, so let's switch back to this. So notice on here on AutoZen, you can play music as well from uh, Amazon Music right here. So if you have Amazon, you'll get Amazon Music, and uh, you have, you know, the battery percentage, the time right here, and the, you know, temperature and, you know, the weather right here. And so this is a speedometer right here. And you can have, you tap on this, you have satellite. As you can see, satellite right here. And you can have notification right here, no need notifications. So you have text, you have voice. So it says voice recognition not available. So let's say play. Let's tap on Amazon Music. So you can choose your favorite music player. You can have Audible and Amazon Music. So if you ever need to have sound coming out and uh, to your car audio system, you will need to connect your Bluetooth to your, to your car Bluetooth. So you'll be able to, you know, use uh, the sound in your car audio system. Uh, if you play music from here, all right, I want to show you why uh, you cannot use the in-app navigation built in right here. Uh, and that's because you need the premium feature. So if you go here, uh, and then you go settings, you go to, you know, maps and na navigations up here, uh, select navigation map. So if you select this, you're going to have autos and navigation. That's a premium navigation. So if you don't want to use a premium navigation, you can use Google navigation, which I prefer because Google has like, you know, the best navigation, uh, you know, they have point of interest, a lot of things that, uh, might not be on autos and navigation. And so that might be even better than this. So if you wondering why it's launching, uh, the Google maps outside of this, that's because you know, you are actually uh, not using the premium feature. So um, that doesn't mean like you're not going to be able to receive messages on here. Uh, it's just like kind of like, you know, you are just not using the autos and app. You're just using uh, the Google Maps and then uh, you're going to re receive notifications 
outside of AutoZen if you do this. And so if you use a premium feature, uh, you're going to receive this as like Android Auto. So messages and so on, uh, which is, um, you know, easier when you're driving. Otherwise, you know, it's same as launching Google Maps right here. It's just like that. Yeah. Right. And kind of, uh, you know, kind of cool to have this right here. So, right. So that's how you convert a tablet into a head unit display without having uh, your phone connected to it. But this is a nice, you know, addition to get like a, you know, $40, $60 and uh, you put it as a head unit display. All right. So if you find this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe. Again, you can, uh, you know, connect this through Wi-Fi hotspot to your phone. So tap that to your phone and then tap that Bluetooth to your car Bluetooth to get audio. And then you'll be able to hear sound on your car. So if you find this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe to my channel right here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment below what you think. And uh, if you have tried this, uh, please let me know and help people in the comment. Thank you guys for watching.